So you might ask if a black hole doesn't give off light, you can't see them. How do you know they're there? Well, a black hole can have companion objects in orbit around them. In fact, the most common way we detect black holes is we find out what effect it has on stars that orbit them. And a star in its life can take various shapes. In fact, they grow quite large in their death throes and become what we call red giants. When you become large and you're orbiting something nearby, your outer layers can become flayed off your surface and descend to the abyss. And it's the descent of the gases, be they from the nearest star or from a gas cloud you might be passing through. It's the descent of these gases that get hot as they spiral down, toilet bowl style. And that in that heat, they radiate to space. And we see what it radiates. It radiates ultraviolet and x-rays. So we detect black holes by their signature in x-rays and ultraviolet light. If we didn't have X-ray telescopes and ultraviolet telescopes, we would not know that black holes really existed out there. So you can keep a stable orbit. If the sun became a black hole today, we'd still orbit around it. Black holes don't reach out and grab you. It's only if you come too close, then you'll get eaten. So black holes are not the menace you might otherwise think they are. They don't, they don't chase you. They don't stalk you. 